What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell, these guys, um, the raw truth about when they fought, and this is what they had to say, and I'm counterpunching all the way through, okay? Ryan Garcia admitted that when he got hit by Luke Campbell, he said, I was a little dizzy with the knockdown. But I wasn't worried. He's not used to going forward. So I just knew I had to cover up. He never fights coming forward. So I knew he would back up throughout the fight. I'm naturally a counter puncher. But today I showed I can take it to somebody and knock them out. God told me that it would end with a body shot. And that's what happened. Now, um, me counter punching Ryan Garcia. You have to give him credit for being honest because it's not a lot of fighters that are honest and by admitting that he was dizzy, okay? Um, a lot of fighters say, oh, no, I wouldn't rock it all. I wouldn't hurt. It was a flash knockdown. No, it was a good shot. He got cracked. He got cracked with a punch that he didn't see. Facts, okay? And for a man to go down like he did to get back up and compose himself like he did the rest of that round... See, he didn't look wobbly to me, okay? And, ha and had he not said anything, we wouldn't have really known he was like wobbly or dizzy, or so to speak, right? But he was man enough to admit it because he didn't have to because really nobody really saw that he was a little shaken up or whatever. Maybe he was a little in shock, but dizzy is a totally different thing. Dizzy is a physical thing, okay? Not really a mental one. A dizziness is where you get hit upstairs and because you got hit upstairs, you're, you're feeling an equilibrium type of uh, experience, okay? I didn't see that with Ryan Garcia. So that shows the good poker face-like mentality that you need to become a champion. And Ryan Garcia showed it, okay? So that's one thing I want to let everyone know. Also, on Luke Campbell's end, um, Luke Campbell said that no one has hit him like that ever, okay, in the history, you know, and... No one has never stopped him either. You know, he didn't have to say that. He could have went on because he had to fought, fought the elites. Lenades, Lomachenko, you know, those guys that already beat him that were that are far beyond the experience of Ryan Garcia. And he could have just chopped it up and said, you know what? He, the kid got me with a good shot. He was this and he was that. You know what I mean? But I've seen better, you know. You know what I mean? He could have took it to an approach that, uh, that, that that really took away from the victory from the younger Ryan, and he didn't do that. And that just shows the sportsman of Luke Campbell, okay? And it also shows the sportsmanship of Ryan Garcia also. You know, these guys had a good fight. Uh, it was much respect between the two fighters. And this is the type of fighting you want. You want acknowledgement. When you beat a guy, you want that guy to acknowledge what you did to him and vice versa. And you guys can appreciate your attributes going back and forth versus, oh, I'm the shit. I beat him. Nobody can beat me. No, I wasn't hurt. Mm, no big deal. Everyone kid takes up a, you know what I mean? No, he was like, no, I was dizzy, but I wasn't worried. And then to add to what he said, he really did his homework on Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell is not a fighter that does go forward. He's a counter puncher and he relies on a fighter. He, he, he uses the art of Aikido. He uses the guy's strength away from, uh, you know, uh, against himself. So he doesn't really come forward throwing a lot of punches. Okay, so he did do his homework on Luke Campbell. You know, Luke Campbell's going to stay composed because he didn't want to get caught with something because he was still aware that the young lion is still dangerous. Okay, so that's what it is. But, you know, Luke Campbell, I mean, Ryan Garcia just knew, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't really move forward aggressive anyway. Now, had that been someone like Tank or, or Pacquiao, because he's calling out Pacquiao, you know, or Lomachenko even. Lomachenko would have took it to Ryan and hit Ryan with 10, pun 10 punches if you were to drop Ryan. Okay. So, yeah, he, he wasn't worried about the assault that was coming back. He just got hit with a good shot. Cover up. Keep yourself composed. Don't show him that you're too hurt and keep moving on. Right. Pick your spots still. You know, just because you're hurt don't mean you can't pick your spots, but understand you are a little dizzy. So hold off on that a bit. And he did exactly that. So you have to give props to Ryan Garcia again. 
But this is me counterpunching Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell, the honest truth of the matter between the two fighters. You guys tell me what you think about these two fighters. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunch. Peace.